My senior year of high school, I decided I was going to play football. I had a, a bad injury then. It, I dislocated my shoulder, broke my collarbone, and that was it for me. So I got right into the uh, workforce. I started doing construction. I found out about a semi-pro football team that we had here in New Bedford. Um, and I, I realized, you know what, it's not the end for me. This is my opportunity to play football again. And I play tight end. And I fell in love with the sport even more. From uh, 2008 to 2016 is when my injury occurred. Um, I played for the semi-pro team around the area. Having a traumatic injury playing in a football game, I had a neck fracture, which sent me to Rhode Island Hospital. Then they sent me out to Spalding Rehab. I uh, had to relearn how to walk, talk, do everything all over again. I was not upset with where I was. I was okay, I accepted the fact that I couldn't move, but I can talk. And because I had my child, I said as, so, as long as we can communicate, I would be fine. Two weeks before I left, I started thinking, wow, I'm really not moving yet. Then I met a, a great physical therapist there that she believed in me. She had all the faith and it was everything that I needed. She stood me up for the first time by myself on a parallel bar. I seen that photo and that inspired me. I said, you know, I'm standing and now we're gonna get moving. By the time I left, I was walking about 50 feet. But for me to independently walk by myself, I would give it about three to four months. That feeling of losing the ability to just do anything, to being able to stand again, it was amazing. It was like the best feeling in the world. When I left Spalding, I was going through outpatient therapy. And that's when I started to develop this love for therapy because I was relearning everything and everything became so interesting to me. So when I found out that Bristol had an occupational therapy assistant program, I was like, okay, that's my opportunity to go back to school. It was just a game changer from there. It was challenging, but at the same time, it was very interesting. I started understanding why my body was or well, is the way it is now with having hemiparesis. And like the love for the sport was just so strong and now it's something that I can't do, but I'm hoping that at some point in life, maybe get into coaching, working with the youth.